hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pvm thanks for joining me so in this video i will show you how to back up your files and folders on your pcs on your windows pcs onto the cloud using an application known as the iDrive so iDrive is an application a cloud storage and a cloud backup application which allows you to back up your files and folders onto the cloud the cloud being the internet and then also to back up your computer's um, hard drive image or your computer's operating system image onto the cloud. So if you create this backup and then you back it up onto the cloud using the iDrive and then your computer at a later stage um, crashes or the operating system um, crashes beyond repair, you can then um, get a new hard disk install a fresh um, copy of the operating system you want to use and then all you need to do is to sign into your iDrive account and then restore your files and folders and then your PC's um, system image or the operating system image onto that computer. So I'll take you through the download and then the installation from now to the end of the video. So the first thing you want to do is to open a browser. I opened Google Chrome and then I searched for the iDrive download the first link right clicked on it and then selected open a new tab so select the tab and then you can see that you have um, various downloadable options for the iDrive application you have it for Windows you can download for Windows you can download for Mac OS and then you have for Linux and then Unix servers. So you have for Debian and then the RPM Linux options. So in this case, I'm doing it for a Windows PC. So I'll click the Windows. And then once you click on the Windows option, the download would begin, which the file is not that huge. It's around 36 megabytes or so. So it will just take some seconds if you have a faster internet to download onto your PC. So when the application is done downloading, all you want to do is to click on it or find it in the downloads folder, double click on it and then the application should start for you to install. So I will select or accept the default and select accept and install to finish up uh, installing the iDrive application. So once the application is done installing, it will come up with the sign-in um, page or the sign-in window. So if you have a, an iDrive account, you can go ahead and then type the email address and then password in those boxes. If you don't have the account, you can sign up for an account by clicking on the sign up for an account. If you don't want to do that, you can also use your Google account. You can also use a Microsoft account. You can use an Apple account to sign in. Um, if you don't want to create an iDrive account. So in my case, I'll use a Google account. So I clicked on the Google account and then that would redirect um, to a browser. So over here, you would select continue with Google. And then from here, it's going to come up with um, your Google account or it's going to come up with a page for you to type your Google email address and then password. Mine was already signed in, so all I needed to do was to click on it or select it and then click continue. So when the Google account is done signing in to your iDrive account, you would be then redirected to the application. So the next thing we need to do is to select the encryption type, but just leave it at the default and then click continue. Once you do that, you will see login successful, and then you'll be prompted to open the iDrive application in the browser. So once that prompt comes up, click the open application, and then the first, the application will open and you'll see the window with some things um, given as to what you want to do. So you can perform an iDrive exp Express backup, you can perform a local backup or online backup. Local backup is actually um, backing up onto an external hard drive or a network storage 
and then the online backup is backing up onto the cloud click modify to select so the first um, backup you would see is a backup um, of um, files and folders these are the default files and folders um, selected the desktop music downloads um, documents you can select other folders in the C drive but I'll click cancel so that is the file and folder uh, backup which is the first backup which is selected you can click on the restore to restore um, if you ever created a, a backup you can click on the restore to restore your files and folders so the restore if you if your restore is a local restore you can do that if it's an online you can do that you can also click on the sh scheduler or the scheduler to schedule um, your backups so in this case it's the scheduler for the local or the file and folder backup so you can change the time you want it to backup I'll change mine to 12 a.m. and then select the days that you need that scheduler to run you can select the email notification anytime the backup finishes you want it to notify you in an email or with an email and then there's also an option down there you could select starts the missed scheduled backups when the computer is turned on so every time your computer reboots um, the backups will automatically kick in so that is the scheduler once you're done you want to click the save changes to save your changes accordingly there's also um, cloud drive this option is there for you when you enable it you can actually um, save or download the iDrive application on other devices your mobile phones your tablets and then sign in with the same account you used to sign in at first and then this will actually synchronize your backed up data your files and folders on all the other um, devices that you have like the tablets the phones everything will, will be synced onto those as well so we have also server backup if we had if you have any of these servers running on your premises on your networks you can perform um, backups for each of them you can perform backups for my MS SQL you can perform backups for uh, Microsoft on-premises Microsoft Exchange so if you have a server and you want to perform a, a, a cloud backup for it you can install the iDrive on it and then click on the server backup and then select the MX on-premise MS Exchange backup so this is if you have a MS SQL on your system you can actually connect to it and then back it up onto the cloud using the iDrive application just as we are looking at on the screen right now click on the settings to change some of the settings you need to change on your system um, the continuous um, data protection is there for you to use so you can read the instructions or the information shown there to use it and then the frequency do you want your backup to be performed in real time that is every time or you want it to be performed in those minutes 10 minutes 30 minutes and then 60 minutes as and when changes are made onto or are made to your files and folders or to your backups so those are all the other um, defaults you want to look through and then to the main other thing that we need to talk about here which is the the clone slash computer backups so this is the most important one we want to talk about so disk clone and then the entire machine backup if you want to clone your system so that when it fails you can have a a, a complete um, system um, image to restore for, from you can use this option which is the disk clone or the entire machine backup this will actually take an image of your PC and then save it onto the cloud so that when you lose your computer or when your computer dies on you you can then restore it so select the online backup and then select the the checkbox beside the disk you want to perform the 
task on but before you can perform a disk clone or disk image backup onto iDrive you have to first of all create a local backup that is the error or the information that is shown in red down there you have to perform a local backup onto an external hard, hard disk drive or external SSD drive or a network attached storage on your local area network once the local backup is done that is when you can perform the online um, system backup or the drive image backup or the system image backup so please take note of this uh, to be sure that you are doing the correct thing so you can also schedule or schedule the the, the the drive image backup or the system image backup accordingly so like I said before you can create the online backup you have to create the lookup backup first before you create the online um, drive image backup or the system image backup so just as we have the drive image backup and then the system image backup we also have the restore drive image data and then OS system image restore so these are your options in the iDrive so use this to save yourself from losing your data or losing your computer completely because having a system image or the drive image backup would save you a lot of time it will save you your data it will save you your apps your configurations in your windows pcs and then your windows server operating systems um the last thing i want to show you is that um before um to perform the system image backups you would need more um cloud storage from iDrive so the next thing we are going to do or look at is the various plans they have for you so now let's look at the various um packages um iDrive offers that you can subscribe to so they give you a um, free 10 gig cloud storage which is called the basic um which is the basic subscription you have the iDrive mini which is um, 100 gig um, cloud storage for one user um, which these two I would recommend that you use for your file and folder um, backups or cloud storage backups and then if you need more disk space to perform your hard disk um, image backup or the system image backup or the operating system image backups you need to subscribe to the this these other um subscriptions which is the iDrive personal and then iDrive team which gives you um five terabytes of um storage for either one user or multiple or for one user and then multiple computers and then the iDrive team also gives you five terabytes for five computers and five users so these ones you can actually use them to perform your um system image backups and then your hard disk um, image backups because the hard disk and then the system image or windows operating system image backups can be huge files especially if if you are backing up multiple computers um the uh, if you are backing up multiple computers um, images onto the cloud um, storage system which is the iDrive so I recommend that you use the bigger storages and then of course you have to pay for the subscription that you select so those are the other um, subscriptions that you can subscribe to so just go through them and then select which one you think you can afford and which one you think you need to back up your data and your computer's um, system images so yes guys kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos and to help grow this community and this channel click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video share the video turn on notifications for all and then i'll see you in another video thank you bye